Hi, welcome back to my next video. Today I'm going to be talking about angle kappa. The angle kappa is defined as the angle between the visual axis and pupillary axis. Clinical significance of angle kappa. Angle kappa should be considered to obtain the best estimate for the actual deviation in patients by the corneal reflection test. Angle kappa is clinically significant for the correct alignment in laser refractive surgery as well as any refractive surgery, particularly in hyperops who tend to have large angle kappa values. And angle kappa may play a role in multifocal iolus disintegration, possibly leading to increased glare and halos. For the measurement of angle kappa, we need to evaluate the position of corneal light reflection while the patient fixate monocularly on a pen light. If corneal reflex is not in center, then we have to perform cover and cover test in order to define pseudostrobismus. So if there is a shift uh, by cover and, co and, and cover test, then th this means that the patient has strabismus. If there is no shift, then the patient has no strabismus or pseudostrobismus. Types of angle kappa. There is a positive angle kappa, corneal reflex is nasal, and the fovea can be temporally displaced, and clinically the patient presents pseudoexotropia. Normally patients have a physiological positive angle kappa as the fovea located 5 degree temporal to the center of the posterior pole. Negative angle kappa, corneal reflex is temporal, the fovea can be nasally displaced and clinically the patient presents pseudoisotropia. There is also a vertical angle kappa, corneal reflex can be uh, below or above and this is a sign of a vertically displaced fovea due to displacement, displacement of the macula from the retinal scar and clinically the patient presents, in this case, pseudohypertropia. Size of angle kappa. The size of um, angle kappa differs between emetropic, hypermetropic and myopic eyes. Uh, physiological uh, angle kappa is between 3.5 and 6 degree, but in average it's a 5 degree. And as we can see here from the table, hypermetropic eyes have um, a larger angle kappa value in compared to myopic eyes when the angle kappa is in average 2 degree. That was everything about angle kappa. Thank you for watching. Till the next video, stay positive, stay healthy. Bye.